Hello, this is Thomas. I'm on SPY, and I had the opportunity to go see the solar eclipse that happened on August 21st in Nashville, Tennessee. It was a great experience, and while I was there, I, I thought I should run some experiments because the conditions that happened during that time will probably never happen again for a pretty never long time. <laughs> So here are the experiments. I thought I could also show a couple of pictures that I took and some of the temperature measurements as well. So here are the pictures. At around 12 noon, we got the first sights of the eclipse at about 15%. And at 12.30, we got 50%. At maybe 115 or so, we got 90% um, or 80%. And at 130, we got totality. Here are those same pictures with the temperature measurements. As you can see, at 12 o'clock, we had 15% and a temperature of 92.3 degrees Fahrenheit. That was the temperature we had for the rest of the day and um, leading up to the eclipse as well. At around 1, we had 90.6 degrees, and it's getting a little cooler as we go on to the eclipse. At 1.16, we had 87.6 degrees Fahrenheit at around 90% of the eclipse finished, and um, it's also going a lot a lot, it's also getting a lot cooler. At 134, we had 84.7 degrees Fahrenheit at totality. That's an 8 degree drop from the 15% at 12 o'clock. We're around a bunch of trees and grass, which retain heat even during darkness, so they were still radiating heat and and as such, we would have been able to get more accurate temperature measurements in a less planty area. But this still demonstrates how much the eclipse can affect our temperatures. Thank you for watching.